We propose a geometric approach to the animating fin surface features in smooth particle hydrodynamics-based water. Explicit interparticle connections are created among SPH particles to approximate the geometries of thin surfaces while addressing the issue of unresolved surface areas. The connections can be modified using a threshold and are colored according to the magnitude of the stretching deformations from red to blue. The reconstruction of thin surfaces and the accuracy of the animation are improved by adding auxiliary particles over the connections via Poisson disk sampling. We show three examples named sphere and cylinder collision, spill out of spoon, and space rabbit. When spherical water ball collides with cylinder, the ball split and our method create more connections between particles. Compared to the smooth surface reconstruction method, our result shows more sheets and ligaments than are present in previous method. In the spoon example, the surface reconstructed using our method have fewer holes than that underwent smooth surface reconstruction due to the contributions of the interparticle connections at the reconstruction stage. A space rabbit is walking across a thin water wall under a zero gravity condition. The thin sheets over the belly of the rabbit and the thin ligaments generated from the surface breakups are captured. We present a novel approach to construct a temporarily coherent depth map for each image in a sequence. Our approach first combines the video sequence into a panoramic image. Based on the panoramic image, we create confidence map to evaluate the reliability of the generated panoramic image. A user can scribble on the single panoramic image to specify depth information. The depth is then propagated to the remainder of the panoramic image. This depth map is then remapped to the original sequence and used as the initial guess for each individual depth map in the sequence. The remapped depth map may contain some artifacts, especially in the areas around edges. The image aware refinement sharpens the blurry edges using the color difference between the building and the sky. Our approach greatly simplifies the required user interaction during the assignment of the depth and allows for relatively free camera movement during the generation of a panoramic image. We demonstrate the effectiveness of our method by showing stereo converted sequences with various camera motions. The quality of the estimated depth is high enough for the purposes of 2D to 3D stereo conversion. This paper presents a novel space-time facial animation retargeting method for blend-shaped face models. Whereas previous approaches conducted retargeting independently at every frame, our movement matching transfers the temporal derivative of source animation. The influence of user modification is smoothly propagated across neighboring frames while incorporating the underlying movement data. This is the example which has modification of eye movement in frame 180. At frame 180, the expression is changed and its influence is propagated across surrounding frames. Recalculating the weight values took less than a second. We develop our system as Maya plugin and the interactive demo of spacetime editing is presented on the input facial animation made by blend shape data we modify one blend shape attribute for an exaggerated expression. When we play the animation, we can notice an undesired popping problem due to the modification. After applying movement matching with the range of propagation, we can get smooth result by the movement matching. We compare the blend shape based facial animation retargeting results by our method with the results by per frame retargeting method. While constrained, per frame matching methods produce less distortion compared to the result without constraint, 
Artifacts, such as an improperly open mouth, are not prevented. Our method can also apply in motion capture animation. And the indoors want you, Oliver. And the outdoors want you, Odie. And the bank, they want a text. Or Hank, the mic wants a paparazzi. Yeah, a kitchen, a garden, a wardrobe, property in the sun. Yeah, everything is anything, like I said, to anyone. We introduce a new method to compress and directly manipulate complex blend shape models. Conventional blend shape processing consists of one vector addition and one matrix vector multiplication. The blend shape matrix beholds all the data for target shapes and the displacement of the vertices resulting in large matrix with hundreds of columns and hundreds of thousands of rows. To compress this, we first reorder the matrix to concentrate hiring blocks, some diagonal, and apply hierarchically semi-separable matrix compression. This produces two extra permutation vectors, P and Q. Each node of H has either three or four kinds of element matrices. Among them, we apply banded householder representation to U and V for additional compression. With this method, we archive compression ratio of under 10% for all our examples. This face model has about 40,000 vertices and 740 blend shapes. Without compression, the animation runs at 8 frames per second with 8 GPUs and data requires 348 megabyte memory. Our compression method reduces the memory usage to 25.5 MB and accelerates the processing speed to over 90 frames per second with 8 core CPU implementation. With GPU implementation, we achieve the frame rate of over 300 frames per second without any visual artifact. Here, we show demo of direct manipulation in action. The values on the right of the parameters are the facial expressions. Users can preview the influence regions colored in red when placing the manipulation handle on a face model. After the handle is spaced on vertex, the user can adjust influence regions and move the handle to manipulate the face. This paper presents a novel facial animation retargeting system that is carefully designed to support the animator's workflow. Our retargeting system generates a similar set of blend shape weights to those that would have been produced by an animator. This is achieved by rearranging the group of blend shapes into several sequential retargeting groups from big movement to small movement in each region. Our proposed techniques greatly reduce the time and effort required by animators to achieve high-quality, retargeted facial animations. We compare the retargeting results created by our sequential retargeting method with several previous non-sequential retargeting approaches. Least squares formulation shows high positive and negative weights. Non-sequential NNLS exhibits that large weight values are still observed due to the blind use of symmetric blend shapes. QP penalty shows canceling effects resulting from symmetric blend shapes. Animators typically spend a tremendous amount of time simplifying the dense weight graphs created by the retargeting. Our graph simplification methods find an optimally simplified curve. The user selects some part of graph to simplify and key pose frames. Different levels of optimal simplification are computed at interactive speeds. This paper proposes an effective technique to minimize the inefficiency of company of a stereoscopic contents creation. From the Z-buffers observed from left and right camera, visibility of each point is determined. The points visible from the one of stereo cameras 
are collected to visible point buffer, and they need careful placement determination. In order to make smooth, we create two-dimensional triangular meshes from sample vertices. The meshes are refined to be optimized for the smoother preservation of the shape represented in an originated image space. The final smooth VPB can be generated from the refined meshes. The point from the refined VPB can be rendered from the center camera using modified ray tracing method. The common image manipulation methods can be applied to the spatially smooth rendered image. User drawn pictures in a single image are automatically propagated to the stereo image pair and common spatial kernel basis filter can be applied. We propose a new method to automate anatomically based rigging that transfers an existing rig of one character to another. As our input data, we require source mesh, skeleton, muscle, and skinning data. Those input data are applied to target mesh guided by user-selected feature vertices. Our method is based on a data interpolation in the surface and volume domains. From a small number of corresponding input feature points, we compute surface correspondence via cross-mesh parameterization. Physically separated segments are used for computing volume correspondence via partial cage-based deformation. As it only requires a small number of corresponding input feature points, users can produce highly detailed rigs for a variety of desired character with ease. We generate several demonstrations by our novel method to transfer an anatomically based rig. All the joints and muscles are placed and deformed properly with no user intervention throughout our process. Moreover, the test examples cover various character models, including bipeds, quadrupeds, and human faces. In this paper, we present a novel smoke visualization model for capturing the surface-like features. The particles simulated from a source are affected to form a streak lines. The closed streak lines are clustered to create NURBS surfaces. Then we get the final images by applying opacity map. We compare our model with conventional rendering method under the same condition. Our method is further superior to other conventional volume or particle rendering method in the low resolution domain. Similar to the real smoke, the synthesized images show surface-like aspect of prominent control in a soft transition. Various results are produced to mimic the actual photos with aesthetic smoke. In a birthday party video, our synthesized smoke replaces the real smoke after blowing out the candles. Thank you.